Hey, and welcome to a quick rundown of my setup, which I used during my first bike packing trip. I asked myself a lot of questions what I really need to add to my everyday setup to, to do a short trip. And so I'd like to document it a bit in the video here. So to my regular setup, which included this top tube bag, I added the Ortlieb waterproof handlebar bag and the Ortlieb waterproof seat pack. I already had this frame bag from for the lying around, so I just used that to store a, a few things. Um, I got these bags uh, from Decathlon really cheap, which are great to store um, some snacks or something you can easily access during the ride. Um, I recently got the arrow bars, which are really, really helpful during longer rides. And then in between on the on the head tube you can see I got the alarm. Um, yeah, I got two bottle mounts and I got the, an additional uh, hydration system which clips in here. Uh, and then this bottle goes inside. As for the bags, uh, I'm pretty happy with how the Ortlieb bags performed. This top tube bag is uh, pretty useless because I cannot really use it with my phone and the, the storage space that is inside is very limited. Um, the frame bag turned out really helpful and uh, I actually now invested in a, in a bigger one because accessing stuff from the handlebar bag or the seat bag is, is really annoying during, during the day. Uh, so I highly suggest getting a bigger frame bag or an accessory pouch which you can add on top here. These are super valuable because you you don't want to access any food or something in the in the bigger bags. Okay, now we can go quickly through what I had with me. So I have to add that I actually went on holiday. So I got a lot of stuff which I wouldn't take if it was just for the riding, but we're gonna go through it really quickly and I didn't actually have had to buy that many things on top. So starting with the mechanics stuff for the bike, I got the pump, some mechanic gloves which I like to carry so I don't get super dirty when I have to repair something, uh, some tape, uh, some chain links, I got this adapter for my uh, valve, uh, some patches, tire levers and a multi-tool. I took two spare inner tubes with me, but I didn't actually get any puncture, so I didn't use these. Um, I got a rack to, to clean my chain every morning and um, some lube. I also got some zip ties. And uh, now we're already getting a bit into the camping setup with a, a clothesline and some um, some pins for it. Uh, I used, uh, I took a bar of soap and some wet wipes with me because I stayed at uh, camping grounds every every night I didn't actually need the wet wipes so these were like an optional. Some deodorant and toothpaste and toothbrush. A uh, hairbrush is also like a luxury item, same goes for the nail file. Um, some chamois cream which was really really useful. Um, I got a bigger towel um, because I had long hair when riding and this was I, I really wanted to, to dry my hair every evening but actually this would have probably worked. This one I just took with me wet and put it in, in one of the bags so I could like wash my hands a bit during the day. And this is all of my camping setup. I actually didn't bring a tent, this was just a, a ground sheet and uh, a sleeping mat and a sleeping bag. I highly recommend taking a tent because it rained the first night and had I not gotten a tent from, from the ones next to me then I would have gotten completely wet already the first night. So get a tent. Um, but apart from that I was really happy with with the sleeping bag and the and the uh, the sleeping mat. I got the lock, which I, I used to 
for my bike when I went into a grocery store and, and during night together with the with the alarm system. Um, I took a first aid kit. Also didn't didn't need that, um, but really handy to have. And then we're getting into electronic stuff. So first off, I I don't have a dynamo, so I was running off uh, battery lights. Uh, my bike computer storing all the maps. Uh, this is a remote for the alarm system. Um, I got a pair of wireless and wired headphones. Uh, my heart rate sensor, a power bank. This is actually pretty critical because I, I use this every evening and it turns out that it doesn't charge fast enough so I have to change this setup for, for the next time. A headlamp which was really useful on the, on the camping grounds. And my wallet and now we're getting into charging stuff and this was also really annoying the setup which I have here was just stuff that I had laying around so a few USB cables, uh, USB cable for the phone, a bit longer one, charger for the phone and then I have this powered USB hub which failed halfway so I had to replace all the setup for, for the next time. Um, and because I was going on holiday I was taking a, my Kindle and of course uh, the phone. One of the best things I bought was this really small uh, backpack which was great to picking up some food uh, in the evening at the supermarket and taking it with you to the camping ground so you didn't have to stuff it in, in your in your bike bags. Uh, yeah, the hydration system and I topped that up with to 600 milliliter bottles, so I was carrying about two liters of water. Um, actually, ended up buying a few 500 milliliter bottles in the end, so I was actually carrying like three lit more three liters of water, and then I would fill that up uh, during lunchtime. I got the lunch box, which I thought I would use for oatmeal, but that turned out pretty impractical right away, so I. Uh, mainly used the knife which I took with me and in my in my food bags at the handlebar I, I put these bags so I could put nuts or some dried uh, fruits or something inside and then I had one full bag with electrolyte like isotonic drink which I used to put in my bottles in the morning. Okay coming to the bike kit first so of course a helmet and sunglasses, was wearing a cap under the helmet which I could wash every evening, uh, shoes with click pedals, really important during longer rides. I brought one base layer, uh, uh, a short sleeve jersey combined with some arm warmers, or more like arm sleeves, they're really thin, and I bought two buffs for, for the head and for the neck, and uh, one pair of hip shorts. Uh, I have one pair of cycling socks and I have brought my uh, armor leg warmers which are quite thick and windproof. So this all together, like I was washing the, the clothes every evening and uh, they were always damp or completely wet in the morning. So I highly recommend taking at least two pairs of socks, maybe even two pairs of bib shorts, but it, it was also, yeah, it was not too cold in the morning so I warmed up pr pretty quickly. Uh, I definitely need a, like even in, in, in summer I need a vest uh, or something to put over the jersey in the morning. I had like this sport uh, tank top which I, which I used in addition to the base layer in some mornings because it was pretty cold. Uh, so I definitely need to invest in something there. Coming to casual stuff, which all fit into the bike bags actually, uh, I got stored in these sacks, which I also got from the bike clothes for washing them. So I got a pair or a set of sport clothes uh, with bathing shorts, uh, a th pretty thick pullover, two pairs of underwear, a belt, two t-shirts, short uh, pants, uh, some some longer pants and actually a pair of socks which was completely useless because I didn't need them at night and this is my only pair of shoes so it doesn't go with socks so I'd rather get another pair of cycling socks next time. Um, 
Yeah, and of course these clothes are not really necessary for not going on, on, on a holiday, so you can take a lot less of that and then it all fits quite well into the bike bags. Okay, I decided to add this section because I actually have some changes that I already made. So, for the electronic setup I got uh, two smaller power banks, which are actually the same capacity as a big one which I had before and I now got the light which charges via USB and is a, a lot brighter than my previous one so with this I can get all this shit down to this size uh, of course still carry the real light and the, and the wireless headphones but yeah that was number one and then I decided to get a bigger frame back and I got this one from Epidura so it has openings on both sides and fits 5.3 liters compared to the, I think, like 1.6 liters which I had before. This will store most of the stuff which I need during the day. I got, because I don't have any more bottle mounts on my, on my bike, I got this one from SKS uh, which fits on my down tube and it sits pretty well. So I can store one more bottle. And I got a different top tube back, which is really easily accessible, also from Epidura. Um, I also found a tent, which is a one-man tent from Nature Hike. And it's pretty small and I can actually fit all this camping gear in the, in the handlebar back. So I only need to access that stuff during, during the evening and yeah, we'll see how the tent works out.